The first Black Academy Award winner. Meet Hattie McDaniel. Born in 1893 in Wichita, Kansas, Hattie watched her formerly enslaved parents struggle to make a living in post-Civil War America. Her older brothers found a way out of poverty, show business. Hattie began performing with them when she was just 10. At 16, she left school and spent the next decade performing across the Midwest. After the stock market crashed in 1929, she sought fame and fortune in Hollywood. And she got her big break in 1935 when she appeared alongside Shirley Temple in The Little Colonel. To look at you now, no one would ever believe that you can be a regular little demon. In 1939, she accepted the role that would define her career. Mammy, Scarlett O'Hara's enslaved maid in Gone with the Wind. Just hold on and suck it. Gone with the Wind was criticized for its romantic depiction of slavery and the Civil War. Many black people boycotted the film, protesting outside of theaters in Chicago and Washington. One newspaper describing the film's depiction of blacks as happy house servants and unthinking helpless clods. Hattie defended the role. She won an Oscar for Best Supporting Actress, making her the first black person ever to win an Academy Award. My heart is too full to tell you just how I feel. And may I say thank you and God bless you. But segregation kept her from joining her fellow actors at the ceremony. They didn't even let her in the theater until right before she got that award, someone came outside and, 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 and brought her into the auditorium. She wasn't even allowed to sit in there. Given the protests of 2020, Gone with the Wind is now under an even harsher microscope. HBO Max pulled the film off its service, then reissued it with this disclaimer. The film's treatment of this world through a lens of nostalgia denies the horrors of slavery, as well as its legacies of racial inequality. Hattie couldn't escape racism both on screen and off. The only roles she was given were those of maids and housekeepers, including in her own 1950 sitcom, Beulah. Meanwhile, when her white neighbors tried to evict her and other black residents from their LA neighborhood, Hattie sued them and won. When Hattie McDaniel passed away from breast cancer in 1952, her request to be buried alongside her peers in Hollywood Cemetery was denied because of the color of her skin.